Well, hello, everybody. This is Don with the vlog of many things. Hope everybody's having a really good day. I want to talk a little bit about Dave Nighthawk Simpson from the online vlog Gamers on Games. I'm going to link Dave's Twitter down below, and I'm also going to link Dave's YouTube channel down below. Now, why am I wanting to talk about Dave Nighthawk Simpson from Gamers on Games? Well, because Dave Nighthawk Simpson saw fit today that he was going to call me out on Twitter. And that he was going to try to garner some moral outrage or outrage about something I said. Now, I'm going to lead up to this a little bit. Um, I have talked to Dave many times on Twitter, and I, before this video, looked at my conversations with him. And my conversations have always been supportive. My conversations with him has always been nice and cordial. Um, but Dave does what Dave does. And this is the lead up, just to let you know. All right. If you go to Dave's Twitter and his YouTube and look through his videos, you'll see that Dave is always outraged about something. Dave is always morally outraged and an ally of somebody. You know, um, and what he does is he he posts his moral outrage and then basks when he gets little heart emoticons on it. And people go, gee, Dave, you're right, because that's what he wants. He wants people to respond. Well, what happened was, was this is um, Dave posted about Lauren Boebert. Lauren Boebert is a senator. She is a MAGA Republican. Very, very, very conservative. In fact, she is so far on the conservative scale. I think you think she's on the conservative scale. Um, very radical. Um, in a famous spat with against Marjorie Taylor Greene, they don't like each other because they both are vying to be like the MAGA queen of Congress. But at any rate, um, there is a video that's been circulating in the news where a family who was given away pins, they made these little pins um, that basically were, they were going to senators and saying, could you wear this? And what they're trying to do is they're trying to get the senators to wear them on the House and Senate floor to show solidarity with all the children who have been killed in mass shootings in schools. Now, my wife is a teacher. My wife is dead in the middle of all this um, and this big debate about arming teachers and all this. So we're very up on this. Plus, we know a family who lost a child at Sandy Hook. We went to the funeral of that little baby. Um, and what happened was, was Lauren Boebert in, in Congress was given this pin. And the video of her, she takes it. And she doesn't even say thank you because that's the way she is. She, and you see her walking about 20 feet. And she walks by a trash can. She takes it and she throws it in the trash can. And the family's like, what the hell? And they run up to the trash can. And sure enough, she tosses it in the trash can, which is a real shit move, really shows the character of some of the people we have in Congress. And by the way, this is not a Republican dig nor a Democratic dig. It is just a dig. You're a shitty human being when you do that. I don't care what party you're a member of. So what Dave does is Dave makes a video called Representative or Rep, Rep. Lauren Boebert spits on dead kids. Well, she didn't spit on the dead kids. What she did is she took a pin from a family. She threw it in the garbage. I know some people say it's like spitting on them, but it was very disrespectful. I agree with Dave on that. However, this is just another one of his drive-bys. You know, he throws it at the wall. Hopefully it'll stick. He'll get some moral outrage, make himself feel better, and he drives on. So this is what I posted on it. And this is for four um, to basically kind of frame this up, this is what happened, just to kind of show you real quick. I said, Dave, in all seriousness, everything has you racked up. Every week you're outraged. She's just a piece of shit that's obvious, but you just specialize in outrage. Because, you know, it's like all the time you just see him do nothing but this kind of stuff. So Dave decided to blow up my name. No need, Dave. I'll own it. Come on. You can put my name on that. And then Dave goes ahead and posts, wow, what a hot take this is. Yeah, at Represent Bober is trash, but you don't have to get upset about things she does. Um, what? Literally throws a pin showing support for mass shooting child victims, all capital letters in the trash. Is just a cool summer zephyr? Yep. Okay. Really, Dave? You really want to go down that path with me? Well, you did. So you're gonna get you're gonna get a response from me. First of all, you should have hashtag mass shooting child victims 
not capitalized it, but I get the point you're trying to make. Um, is this just a cool summer's effort? No, what it is, Dave, is this. It's just more political BS from people in Congress that don't give a shit about me and they don't give a shit about you. They don't care about their party. They care about their position and power that they can gain. And that's all political spectrums. OK, this isn't a liberal versus a conservative issue. This is just a shitty human being issue. And Rep Representative Lauren Boebert has demonstrated time and time again, as many Republicans and Democrats have, that they're really shitty human beings deep down. OK. Um, and and again, you know, if, if you want to go on video with me, I am more than happy to to go on video with you. And we can discuss this in a very adult manner. I won't insult you. I won't attack you. I'm offering right now, I'm, I'm very happy to, to go on a live with you and we can discuss mass shootings, how it's affected us personally, and how the loss of children has affected us personally. Because I know also firsthand what it's like to lose a child, you know? And the thing is, is for you to insinuate in any way that I'm okay with this is bullshit. And see, this also kind of rolls into the kind of crap that you pull, like, the stunt that you pulled last year, and I'm going to call you out on something now. Since you want to call me out, I'm going to call you out, but I won't blow out your name. You know, last year, this whole thing you pulled, when you went ahead and you inferred that the owner of Dave Kahn was a Nazi and that you actively solicited to have people boycott Dave Kahn because you wanted to ruin Dave Kahn. Why? Because you were mad at the organizer, Vic. You had a personal grudge against him, and you tried to use your platform to destroy his convention. And then when you were called out on it by more than one person, when people started going, this is not tolerable out of you, Dave, what was your response? Number one, you went ahead and you made a black video. It was the entire MASH song, Suicide is Painless, black screen, no comment, no nothing. And then you went dark. And people were worried about you legitimately. I messaged you and said, are you okay, Dave? And you saw the message and you didn't even give a reply because you wanted people to ponder and think. You were looking to punish people because they had the goal to go, you're wrong. And instead of being a man, see, I'm man up this. I'll, I'll say that's me. I won't let you blew my name out. I'll own it. You went ahead and you did a suicide is painless video and you let people think that you were going to self-harm. And and then when when people asked you about it, you didn't even give them an answer saying, no, I'm all right. I'm, I'm just taking a break. You went dark and then had your wife do a few little posts about Dave is, you know, reorganizing his thinking. So don't come in here and think that you're going to garner moral outrage off of something I said, because we can talk about a lot of stuff if you want. And by the way, if you want to go on a video with me, any subject you want to talk about, including me, I'm fine with that. I'm an open book. I got nothing to hide. But you're not going to go ahead and point out one of my responses to you and try to use it as some bullshit attempt to go ahead and garner moral outrage, get a few little heart, maybe get a few people going, oh, wow, that person's a real asshole. No, I'll own it. That's me. So, Dave, anytime that you want to, again, have a discussion about this, I'm fine with that. Let's go ahead and let's talk. Let's 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 have a video together. I'm willing to do that. Are you? I doubt it. So this is Don from the Vlog of Many Things. Have a good Friday. This weekend, I'm going to be posting about the TSR bankruptcy. Um, big hearing coming up on Monday against the owner, Justin Lanasa. Um, and also I'm going to be doing a few other videos on some other miscellaneous subjects. Um, I'll be posting about them on my social media. So this is Don with the vlog of many things. Thanks for tuning in. I hope you have a good weekend.